shackles and chains i actually had the the instrumental for shackles and chains in in, in 2014 and i think i wrote a kind of real wax song on it at the time but actually i don't write music i don't write music down on, on pen and paper i vibe and whatever comes to me i always say the music tells me right. what to say right. you understand so I th- what i do usually when when i come up with something when i create something i usually leave it for like weeks or maybe even a month or months and then i'll listen to the instrumental again and if i can't remember what i said on that instrumental then i say it wasn't supposed to be then right. you understand because it wasn't song with it so in 2015 now revisited the instrumental revisiting the instrumental now listening to it vibing i wrote that song in like 15 minutes majority of that song in 15 minutes you know so wrote well created this song and i was like wow it was to me it was a, at that time that was the most powerful song i ever wrote you understand so it was like what going on here like some like before i used to write songs but it would, it would more be more hip hip hop i would say like rhymes right. but no one was actually structuring the songs and letting like okay the chorus sound like this playing with your with your vocals and and like how you, how you rap the melodies and whatnot so yeah I created this song in 2015 um recorded it and mixed and mastered it on my own Serious? yeah mixed and mastered it on my own um and held it until 2016 built a whole project around it um the whole project name was freedom the whole project name is freedom um what really happened is after visiting new york in 2014 2013 14 and 15 you know that was around the time when mike brown and eric garner killed by police right right and i was there and you could cut the tension with a knife and you know every time i see those things that happen it just touch me it just some some just in me just you know i just feel moved by that now so created the whole project around that now i actually pitched that song before it was released i pitched it uh music supervisor for a show i came across this show just by watching a trailer for the show and i was like wait but my song would fit <laughs> good with the show and in january january 2016 i just like pitch a song to the music super, f- supervisor and said yo i have a song it might you know align with the show and he was like well we already finished season one but if we get a season two you know i'll consider it i was like okay appreciate it i know you will get a season two that, is, that was my response to him i know you will get a season two so fast forward now didn't speak to him for the whole of 2016 um january 2017 gets an email you know i might have a place for this song <laughs> so yes <laughs> at that time i didn't tell a soul just kept it to myself like okay because i know these things it have a lot of layers yeah. and levels a lot of people that have to pass through so i was like all right cool but then moving along january um they kept asking for different things like you know the instrumental you know the lyrics so that's when i could get to realize it was, yeah, was kind of serious yeah. right so in february I, t- I believe um somebody from sony sony um uh sony television company actually emailed me and um sent the contract so then i know well okay <laughs> you know this this serious so signed contract and still it it still had a chance those things you have to wait until you actually see the, the episode to know because at the last minute they could pull something right. they could take some so still I, I told a couple of people and then um 
the f actually i didn't have confirmation until the friday before the episode the episode was end wednesday the friday before the episode was supposed to air i hit up the music supervisor because i couldn't really take the suspense yeah, yeah. no more so yeah so i was like um look i want to hit up press i want to do some press and whatnot so um i want to know for sure if the the, the song in the episode and he assured me that he 100 percent sure song in the episode and whatnot so that's how the whole thing come to to into play with the tv show underground yeah that's how that happened the the beat produced by a producer in atlanta a producer in atlanta named tone jones his music his his style of production just marry with my content you know yeah it's like that those beats and my music just go together I actually working on a new project i actually start working on a new project and cop some more beats from him you know to, to work on a song because so you record at home too you, you yeah home home studio home studio, home studio. So you do everything everything record, everything record mix master everything everything from scratch